Russia denies it was ever planning to invade Ukraine, despite amassing more than 100,000 troops near the border. Diplomatic efforts continue, despite intelligence reports that say Russia could be on the cusp of military action. Fox's Lauren Blanchard is in Washington with more. Ukraine is preparing for a day of unity on Wednesday. This same day, intelligence suggests Russia could invade. However, after a Tuesday meeting with the German Chancellor, Russian President Vladimir Putin says he's ready for talks. Russia wants guarantees Ukraine cannot join NATO, plus a rollback of forces from Eastern Europe. Do we want it? War or not? Of course not. That is why we have offered our proposals to start the negotiation process, which should lead to an agreement of providing equal security for everybody, including our country. A Kremlin spokesperson says this video shows some troops drawing back from the Ukrainian border. We've always said the troops will return to their bases after the exercises are over. The White House says a drawback isn't what they've seen. Now 130,000 Russian troops and heavy machinery stand ready along three sides of Ukraine. Ukrainian and NATO leaders say they'll believe Russian de-escalation when they see it. So far, we have not seen any de-escalation on the ground. Critics of the administration say they're playing into Putin's hands. I believe Putin is hoping uh, that at the end of the day, he can get what he's wanted, which would be uh, an economic collapse, a political collapse in Kyiv, uh, and a window to put his own person in. The administration says they stand ready to help Ukraine and NATO allies and impose sanctions if Russia does invade. In Washington, Lauren Blanchard, Fox News.